Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This weekend we are camping in Oregon for a couple nights. Uh, both nights we will be in an actual campground. We are at Wyeth Campground, which is just east of the Bonneville Dam and the Bridge of the Gods. Uh, really nice little campground. Sites are nice and secluded, nice facilities as well. And then tomorrow night, we're gonna go down around Mount Hood, just east of Mount Hood, actually, to Nottingham Campground. And yeah, just explore some uh, roads around there, maybe find some off-grid campsites and do lots of fun things. Yeah, so to get here, we, you drive along the Columbia, basically, uh, between Oregon and Washington, and we stayed on the Washington side. Uh, the interstate's actually on the Oregon side, so that's a little bit faster, but we think it's a prettier drive on the Washington side. Uh, and then we crossed the Bridge of the Gods, to get into Oregon. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Bridge of the Gods, that is uh, on the PCT, Pacific Crest Trail, that's what you would cross from Oregon into Washington on the trail. So that was really cool. Uh, I think you mentioned we saw the Bonneville Dam, forgot that was here. So really pretty drive. Yeah, and following in the footsteps of Lewis and Clark, just the other way, of course. <laughs> Super easy. So we uh, finally pulled the trigger on our powered cooler. We got a Dometic. We are loving it so far, even though we're only six hours into our first <laughs> trip with it. It's but, been great. <laughs> but a uh, couple things on this purchase. So we double checked the model that Timberleaf uses that fits in their trailers perfectly. So we got the CFX 35, I believe. Um, little did we know they changed the model a couple months prior from us purchasing it. So the newer model actually bumps out a little on the sides. So it's wider, or deeper I should say. But we found a fix. What we did was actually notched the back of the drawer out. So I just took our skill saw, cut this out, used uh, a little, uh, used a little Dremel to sand the edges and just try to make it look as professional as I could. It was still a little too wide, so we actually added these uh, jack <laughs> jack plates you put on the ground. Thank you, Michael. These came in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> these really came in handy, and you can find Michael on his uh, Facebook group drop heads it's amazing um so yeah we're we're good to go no more ice it's so amazing but uh we have the essential beverages up top <laughs> don't judge and, anybody <laughs> <laughs> and a few waters and this is all of our food for the weekend there's there's still space we thought we were going to be short on space because the usable interior space is cut off with the pump which is under the right side but really we have enough beverages to kind of cycle them as we we drink them and mm -hmm. still tons of room for all our food yeah we got our eggs and beef lettuce bacon BLT there's hot stuff. dogs in there cream cheese <laughs> Seattle dogs if you know you know coffee cream yep I think that's mayo butter <laughs> There you go, guys. That's what we eat camping. <laughs> we try to just pack really light and, um, you know, reuse stuff. So BLTs and then bacon burgers and that kind of a thing. So this campground's really cute. Um, quiet, private. So here's our little spot. We are here pretty early. What time is it? Mm, it's about 3.30. So, and it's a Friday. So we're assuming, you know, people are gotta get off work and then drive and whatnot. So. Most of the spots look about like this. Nice and private, you know, all the green around you. Water access every like other spot or so.
Matt's fire setups are a work of art. He's got, I don't know if you can see, a teepee. That's a really shitty angle. A teepee inside the log cabin. There's the teepee. Teepee inside the log cabin. So that's gonna burn very nicely later. We go cheeseburgers. Uh, Matt bit corners off of all the cheese. <laughs> what? So it wouldn't drip everywhere or leak everywhere? Mm -hmm. You get a hand? There you go. Okay. Here's dinner, guys. Nobody needs to watch us eat. Boom. Matt's working on breakfast. We are doing croissant breakfast sandwiches. Super easy to prep. Some eggs and coffee. Good morning, guys. We have just packed up. We are leaving. How do we get out of here? That way. We're leaving the campground <clears throat> and gonna make our way to our second camp spot of the weekend. Um, pretty early it's about 8 15 so we've got a lot of time I think before we can even check in so we'll just do some exploring might go through Hood River um, I don't know, make some stops along the way oh yeah So we stopped <clears throat> for lunch while we were out exploring, and here's our view. There's a woodpecker. I don't know if you guys can see this, but right along the ridge of the mountain there is a ski lift, uh, I think from Timberline Lodge. So you can ski on Mount Hood. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. We are right on a river. <laughs> so this is our camp spot, night two, fire pit there. And then we have river access right down here. I won't go too close because I don't know if you'll be able to hear me or not. So lots of great sun, um, good fire pit and nice little setup. It's a brain freeze for your feet. Oh my God, this is really, really cold. 